What's up, good people? What's up, good people? It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the Impact Builder, coming to you on this terrific Tuesday. It's a beautiful day outside, y'all. Y'all got to get out and get some of this vitamin D out here this morning. It's a nice um, actually, just cool, not not even cool, it's real 60, about 67, maybe 70 degrees, so great walking weather, y'all, great walking weather, just got my walk in, y'all know what it is, we in the what, in the brand new suite, outside, we ain't inside, we ain't in the suite inside, we not in the lab, but we outside, the brand new uh, suite, it's talk to me Tuesday, it's tell the truth Tuesday, all of those great things that go with Tuesday, <laughs> Taco Tuesday, all of them. <laughs> oh, but anyway, but welcome to the brand new suite um, with Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., Dr. LJ Speaks, the Impact Builder, coming to you just another day. And I'm not gonna be, I ain't even gonna be long today, y'all, because one, my feet hurt. <laughs> but, but two, um, I don't want to keep you long today. But y'all know this week. This week, our focus our, our focus is on the um, I call it the art of making the deal. Y'all know that other uh, title you might be familiar with it, but this is the art of making the deal. Not the art of the deal, but the art of making the deal. And 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 what I have is five characteristics of deal makers, and and the idea came from watching the documentary The Black Godfather and and uh, for those that aren't familiar with him his name is uh, Terrence Mr. Terrence Avon Clarence Avon I'm sorry did I say Terrence Clarence Avon is just a phenomenal dude that if you don't know who he is take a look at The Black Godfather he has touched so many um, people's lives you want to talk about an influencer this is the influencer of influencers because any great major um, event that you can think of, <laughs> this dude has been a part of. And this is this is how much of a, how bad this man is, right? <laughs> you got to watch the documentary to get this. He um, he's you know moving and shaking and doing his thing and stuff like that, and he gets connected with Michael Jackson, right, and this is back, back in the, uh, 80, late 80s, when did Bad come out, whenever Bad came out, it was around that same time, right, so, he, he gets connected with Michael, Michael, you know, appreciates all the work that he did for him, because he worked with, 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 um, Michael Jackson for, um, for E.T., the movie E.T., the soundtrack on E.T., because, um, Michael Jackson, did the did a um a music box for et for the movie et that's how they got connected so <laughs> michael is getting ready to go on tour for the bad um cd for the bad uh cd album that's 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 out coming out so <laughs> michael in the all in the documentary um mr avon is talking about how he was asked by Michael Jackson to put together this tour because he's just he just knows that he's a great man he puts stuff together and so he tells Michael Jackson I don't know anything about motion I, I'm not do, I can't do it he told Michael Jackson no y'all this is how bad this dude is this is how and I'm my word for the day the, the, yesterday we talked about knowing your why. They, the, these, these great deal makers know their why, but then two, which is today, is they are honorable. They are honorable. They are. I should say not just men. This is women too, y'all. Um, they are honorable, but they are honorable because of the way that they treat people, the way that they conduct business, the way that they. It's not about them, it's about others. And Mr. Mister Avon, and, and I was, as I was thinking about these deal makers, he was first on my list. And I just started thinking about the characteristics from the, from the documentary that, that people were saying that he was and that I could see through the documentary and hear him speak and everything like that. But just a, a very honorable person. 
But he told Michael Jackson no, yo. How do you tell Michael Jackson no when it comes to you? So he he says no at first, and then he winds up, Mr. Avon winds up talking with a friend of his, and he tells him about, oh, Michael Jackson's interested in me putting this tour together. And the dude is like the bad tour because he was in that industry and stuff. He said, yeah, he said, I don't know anything about, you know, about, about uh, you know, about that and stuff like that. He said... <laughs> He said, you turned to Michael Jackson? He, and so they wound up, he winds up connecting him with a gentleman that was like the promoter of all promoters. And they put on the bad tour, y'all. That Mr. Avant put on the bad tour with, along with these other uh, gentlemen. I don't know what happened. Well, anyway, but he winds up, they wind up putting on the bad tour, y'all. This is so, I, and I'm gonna give different stories that I know from the from the video. I'm not gonna try and give me too many because I want y'all to go watch the documentary, The Black Godfather. It's on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, definitely go go and watch it. It's it's worth watching. It's a great story about a great honorable man who puts these monumental deals together. Um, and I'm talking um, sports entertainment, politics, business, all all of these different um aspects <laughs> he put he puts them together and he was a he w- he is the deal maker of deal makers. And and not just and this is not even for himself. This is bringing entities together to do great deals. And and I'm going to talk about that tomorrow about being a connector. But but he's he was honorable in in all of these things that he did. He he looked out for different artists and he looked out for different um, producers and, and music. Uh, just the whole night, he was just when you hear people talk about Clarence Avant, the word I believe that that described him was honorable. And and what I'm gonna ask you today is in these deals that you're making t- this week that you're putting together, that you're doing. And and even with the, like I said, the every transaction that you do with a client, with a with a customer, is that's that's a deal. And and the question is, are you honorable in the deals that you're making? Is it, it are the deals that you're making just about you? So that you can be the only one that benefits benefits from it, where it's a win lose situation, and you want to be on the win side of it, or 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 is it a lose win situation where you may lose in the deal, and the other person's wins? I don't believe you would get into a deal that was lose win, but but that happens. Or are you in the deal, making it a win win? And when I say win-win, think about it. Think about your products. Think about your services that you offer. It should be a win-win because you should win because you're 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 offering a product or service that is that is um that is that is going to be the answer to someone's problem. And on the other side of that, it's a win because the person that purchases gets your product or service gets their problem solved if you are a speaker if you are a speaker and and someone is looking for a keynote someone is looking for someone to be a part of a panel and you are a part of that ask yourself in making that deal and being the answer to their problem are you being honorable in 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 that deal if you're writing a book if you're an author, you're writing a book, and and you're you're putting, are you putting um, information in that book that is true, that is factual, that is of of helping someone? Is it honorable? Ask yourself that the the bit that business deal that you're about to make this week, that you're about to have, that you're about to do. Is it honorable? Are you being honorable in making that deal? It's not just about making deals, y'all. It's not just about 
you know, uh, like I said, the art of making the deal. But the art of making the deal is knowing why you made the deal, why you're making the deal, which we talked about yesterday. But two, is about being honorable in making that deal. And, and you get some entrepreneurs, you get some organizations, you get some corporations that do deals that aren't, that aren't honorable. They're only for the benefit of individuals who want to, um, who want to benefit off of the, um, off of the, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? They want to benefit off of the troubles of other people. That's not honorable. So when you, when you think about that deal this week, when you think about those, those, uh, those, uh, your clients and your customers, is the product that you're offering them honorable or is it something that you just threw together just so that you could sell people? Because I, I've had these conversations lately, um, about people in the, whether it's in the speaking industry, whether it's in the coaching industry, whether it's in, you know, you have, you have a lot of people who are offering these products and they're promising all of these things. Well, if you buy my program, you're going to get this. If you buy my program, you're gonna get and when, when it, when the, when the rubber meets the road, it was all about the money for them. And I tell people, you've got to be careful. You've got to be mindful of about how you, what de- how you're making the deals that you're making. Like I said, if I'm promising someone a product or service and, and we're exchanging um, value, money for the product and service, you 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 got to be honorable in doing that. And as I'm sitting here, I'm thinking about the conversation that I that I literally just had um, the other day, and and we were talking about that about people, you know, not getting, not people not being honorable, and in, in these products and services that they say that they're offering. It's real. And, and you have some people who are, um, who, who are just gaining from, you know, telling people what they're going to get as opposed to producing what it is that they say that they're going to be producing. Or even, like I say, solving someone's problem. If you say that you're going to edit someone's product, someone, so, I'm saying product, someone's book, then... You should be doing it at a level where they are satisfied with that um, editing that you've done and not have to go to another editor because you didn't do what you said you were going to do as far as editing goes. And, and it's like like I was saying, you, you, I've, I've gotten clients, unfortunately, who've come to me and they they they've come to me because of an uh you know they've had an editor that that didn't do what they were supposed to and i was just like they actually edited this and i was like well wow it looks like they didn't even do what they said that they were going to be doing so it's it's about this this being a deal maker is about being honorable it's about taking one, pride in, in the product and service that you offer, but then two, what it is that, you, that you're that you giving to people. And and we've got to understand as entrepreneurs, our, our, it's not just about, it's about you, it's about your business, and it's about your brand. And, and I always have in front of me my brand. 
And if my brand can't be honorable, if if I can't be honorable to my brand, to my business and, and the business that I'm doing and the deal that I'm making and the deals that I'm making and the products that I'm offering, the services that I'm offering, then I've got a problem. I got a problem with me. And and anyone, I'm gonna say this to any entrepreneur that's doing business with other entrepreneurs, with other businesses. Don't get into that deal. Don't make that deal. If if you feel as if it's not honorable. We we see it every single day now <laughs> on the news, and I ain't gotta say no names, of 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 someone who has been dishonorable in so many deals that that him his family his corporations have made so it's about if if you want people to speak well of you if you want business owners to speak well of you be honorable in the deals that you make. Be honorable in the in the deals that you put together. Because I'm I'm telling you, it, it goes a long way. And and Mr. Avon in, in the documentary, he says he says this and I thought it was, <laughs> I thought it was great. He says, I don't have problems. I have friends. <laughs> and, and I was like, wow. That's what being honorable will get you. I don't have problems. I have friends. So when, you, when you're when you able to be honorable in the serving of, of people, trust me, that, that honorable characteristic will come back to you. How people speak about you. How people do business with you. They will respect that. They will respect that. So that's the goal. That's the, assi- that's the assignment today. Is, is how can you be honorable in how, you, how you're serving in that making that deal today. That's, that's the homework. This week, I told you, with, with those deals are coming this week. I really believe it. Those deals are coming. But our, the question is, do you know why? Why you're going to make that deal? Why you're going to get into that deal? And then two, today, can you be honorable in the deals that you're going to be making? I, I, I want us as entrepreneurs to understand and and to be focused on being honorable. Yeah, the money, the, here's the truth, the, the, the money will come if you have these characteristics. I truly believe this. If you know the why, if you're honorable, and I'm, we're going to talk about being a connector and, and the other ones the rest of this week, but the money, you won't have to chase the money. For the deal, the deals will, the deals will come to you. The money will chase you because you, 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 you personify these characteristics of being a deal maker. So let's go, let's go out today. Let's be these deal makers. But in being the deal makers, I want you to be honorable. In it. It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the impact builder. Want y'all to have a great day. Like I said, go out, get some get some vitamin D, get some sunshine, <laughs> and we'll talk to y'all soon. Have a great day, y'all.